Hi, you are watching channel Mr. Electron and these what you see are a few broken or damaged mobile chargers. So today in this video, I'm going to use them to make a 12 volts power supply for charging my batteries. So guys, these are a few 5 volts mobile chargers that I have salvaged. Let's test them. So guys, here as you can see that I'm connecting the mobile charger circuit to my 220 volts home socket power supply. Now let's test it with an incandescent bulb. Although the voltage is not 12 volts from the mobile charger, but still it is glowing a little dim, but yes, it is glowing. So this one is fine. Now let's test this one. working working so all of them are working and now i can connect them all together now this what you see is an old dead 12 volts 8 amperes power supply SMPS and because it's dead let's open it up remove the circuit and reuse its case. As you can see the transformer shows the rating 12 volts 8 amperes so guys i've cleaned up the box as much as i could and after that i also thought about repairing this circuit board which was damaged so fortunately there was a minor problem this was the capacitor you see the top part of it it seems a little stretched and you can see that the cover also got stretched and this was the piece of it that uh, told me that it was 100 microfarad you see 100 mu f and 450 volts that's what i took from it so what i did was uh, instead of the 450 volts capacitor i used a 400 volts and 82 microfarad instead of 100 farad and guess what that was the only problem and it started working just fine also i took the capacitor 400 volts and uh, 82 microfarad you see 82 mu f 400 volts from this slot and this is another circuit that was lying around not in use so let's test this one first okay so let's turn it on and see how the 8 amperes power supply performs you see the light has started glowing and there is no blast so here what i have is a bike headlamp bulb you see 12 volts 35 watts so let's connect this one first yeah you see it's glowing pretty bright and here i have full 100 watts bulb 8 amperes you see 12 volts 100 to 90 watts so let's connect this one and this should be even brighter Oops, power supply is turned off. Maybe it's not handling this kind of load. Maybe it's old. Let's try by simply switching. Yeah. Oh, it is so hot. <laughs> yeah, now it's working. Once again with my lab lights turned off. <laughs> See, it is so bright. Oh, it's very hot. 
Now let's also measure the current at the same time. And we did a max of 8.68. Wow, and the supply is working very nice. Now let's test my high current drone motor. <laughs> wow. Nice. And guys, now that the power supply is working great, I can no longer use the box for my mobile charger 12 volts power supply project. And I will have to use something else for that. So let's place it back as it was before. So guys, now that I have packed it successfully, let's turn it on. And yeah, you see here the red light indicator. It's working now. Car headlamp night eye. Wow. Nice. And now for my mobile charger circuits, I'm going to use this PVC case. There were too many stickers on it, so I had to like grind it. Okay, and uh, the case is just fine for my circuits. And these two can go the sideways. Okay, so guys, here as you can see that I've placed all the circuits on the walls of the case and I've fixed them with screws. You see this one, same for this one, this one and that one. And it is quite strong. It's not gonna come out. Now, let's start with the parallel connection of this side of each circuit. Like the 220 volt side, that is going to be connected in parallel. So guys, here as you can see that I've completed the soldering part for the 220 volts high voltage side and here I've used the heat shrink tube for covering it up for safety. 
looks quite nice now let's connect this cord to the 220 volt socket and see if each individual charger is getting supply so all of them are getting the 220 volt supply now let's connect the outputs together now guys here as you can see that there are four power supplies or mobile charger circuits and uh, because this one and this one these two are a little weak circuits i mean they're going to produce only 1.5 amperes each so i'm going to connect this one and this one in parallel to increase up or double up the current and this one is good enough on its own so is this one so uh, these two in parallel and then this set will be connected in series with this one and this one and you see the bulb is glowing really bright this time because all the chargers are working together to light up one single bulb and the voltage is quite high really nice very bright and not just that uh, it can even power up a car headlamp bulb this is yeah here it's written 12 volts 55 watts so it is uh, quite a strong bulb you see it's glowing really bright ah, very hot from this side so let's back it up take out two wires from the box and then cover it up So let's check the voltage that it is producing and here as you can see it's 15.5 volts DC which is quite high for charging a 12 volts battery we need around 14.8 volts so guys now I'm going to use this 6 amperes diode to create a 0.7 volts drop because the voltage produced by the power supply is 15.5 volts so 15.5 minus 0.7 will make it 14.8 volts DC which is best for charging our batteries so this side of the diode is positive and the silver side or gray side is negative so the positive side has been connected to the positive white wire and this one will be connected over here but before I do that I will have to connect this metal sheet which is going to act as a heat sink for the diode although the current is not going to be much high but still there is a possibility that's going to heat up although you can do the same process by placing the diode inside the box but i'm not doing that so guys finally the project is complete now let's test it with our battery now guys this is the parcel that i got from loom solar which is one of the biggest solar panel manufacturing company in india along with batteries and their charge controllers so if you want to have a look at their website link has been provided 
provided in the description so as you can see guys that it's a 12 volts battery which looks quite similar to a ups battery the current rating as you can see is 12 ampere hour uh, with an expected lifespan of up to 10 years and 24 months of warranty making it two years now the best part about this battery is that it's made of lithium iron phosphate cells therefore larger lifespan now if we have a look at its battery voltage so as you can see they have charged it at 13.37 volts so guys here i've connected the power supply to this battery and uh, the multimeter is showing the battery voltage at present because i have not turned on the power supply yet so when i'm going to turn it on the voltage on the multimeter should start increasing indicating that everything is working fine okay so turning it on so the voltage has started increasing and our battery has also started charging and it is going to go to a max of 14.8 volts when the charger is going to cut off indicating full charging. So here we have reached 14 volts and increasing. Super strong. Thrust is too high. Ah, the battery is really powerful.